Hello guys, I'm Simulator Express, this is Trade Simulator 2018, and today we're going to be taking this Greater Anglia Class 360 in the West East Anglia livery from Braintree to Witham and back to Braintree again. That will serve this uh, short little scenario, short little video, just to we drive up the line, I suppose. Um, this is a workshop scenario that I have edited uh, to give myself this livery. So the uh, scenario in the down below uh, will be linked down below, and so will the livery, which I believe is made by uh, Blue Code. I so if you want to get this scenario, get this livery, do it all yourself. That will be possible. I will get those links down below. But this is my third attempt scenario. For some reason, Train Simulator does not want to play it on today. Crashing like mad. But you know, done a few things. Hopefully, it works now. Let's get the train set up. Board passengers to the train tree. Train in neutral. And go up. Aid self test. I'm gonna need the window wipers today. Lights. Hey, daylights on. On. They are on. So we don't need any instrument lights. I don't think. Good without instrument lights. And I think now it's set up and good to go now. So once the passengers have boarded. I mean, there aren't really any passengers. Everyone's. Everyone's not. Where is everyone? Probably don't want to come out in the rain today. So. I know I, in in the last greater Great Eastern Main Line stream I did, I commented a lot on the line, but we didn't come down the branch line. We are ready to go. Let's get it going. So, yes, uh, Braintree is quite accurate. Station, the platform really is this long. Weird for a branch line, really. <coughs> but yes, it's because Greater Anglia do run quite long trains even down the branch line. You'll notice that the branch line a lot of the trains are still well not the platforms all there. And this is a nice little branch line to run. There's a lot of scenery where good little run. Fifteen. Often the low speeds are the ones that are more difficult to uh, maintain. And when it doesn't want to play along And the best thing about this branch line, for me at least, you guys are going to love it, but I definitely love it, is that um, there's whistleboards. Whistleboards galore. Actually, if we're only going to Whitton entirely. Uh, no, I think there's still a fair amount of whistleboards down the line. I mean, let's just give it one anyway. And of course, yeah. We have to get a screenshot. Uh, coming up to our first stop, which is Braintree Freeport. The feeding. The at least used station in Essex, I believe. Jeff Marshall. I trust him. And even though it's the least used, it's. Hopefully, we can fit the entire train on this platform. Break it. A little bit more. A little bit more even. But it doesn't look like we're going to stop the whole train on here anyway. The rear carriage is. Oh, you know. So, we probably could have fit a little bit more on. But this rear carriage was always going to be off. Driver in the back, I believe, due to the nature of the reskin. Not having non driver versions of the vehicles. It's okay. A very nice one. Range you free pull. There were a couple of people, they're gone now. Oh, we're ready to go again? I'm learning though. I'm learning from the previous, uh, from the stream where I kept leaving the reverser in forward and 
PTSD would keep coming off while I'm outside looking around. A bit embarrassing. A bit embarrassing to say the least. Especially when we were stuck at Chelmsford for a couple of minutes, not knowing why the train was not moving. It's all good now, we fixed it. We fixed it. Inter one of the interesting things about it might not be interesting to me. One of the interesting things about this branch line is that there are until you get to about Witten, no signals. No signals because there is literally one train on this branch line at any time. There's one train that runs all the way down it to Braintree. And one train that runs and the same train, then when it gets to Braintree, the way back. Under Liverpool Street, and that's the only service this branch line gets. One train every hour. It did used to have. This is just what I've read. Someone's probably gonna challenge my history on it. But there did used to be two tracks going along this branch line, so you could have two trains running. However, due to the war effort. I think it was World War One. I. I wanted to say World War One. The uh, tracks were ripped up, so the metal could be used. And uh, yeah, that's been a single track uh, branch line ever since. I think there, there there have been talks about building some sort of loop further up uh, after Braintree, I believe. So that two trains could run at a time. I'm not sure how likely that is to go ahead any time. But uh, it's a plan from what I know. <laughs> Pressing station. So I think, ah yes, I was going to point this out in, no, when I was doing the one for a previous video. But, uh, oh, no. Five. No, which one's the free cam? Is it eight? Yes, eight. Three. So when the train's going this way, this uh, level crossing stays down for the entire duration of the train being in the platform. And drivers have to follow this sign when they proceed. So even if they've been stood here for ages and everyone knows that they're there, they still have to do it. Some, uh, find safety. So yeah, you could uh, turn up to Cressing your car at the wrong time. You may find yourself stuck at that, uh, that crossing for a long time while a train picks up passengers. Yeah, that's just uh, a little, little tidbit of local knowledge. Running a bit late to White Notley. Not sure what it wants me to do to make up the time. I think this is a hard scenario, I believe. No, it's a good old bit of fun. Just gotta be mindful of the braking because the stations are so close together. I'm not sure, I don't think it wants us to detach any carriages when we get to Witten. Sometimes in real life, they detach the rear four to go on to somewhere else. But I believe now we may be okay. We're just going there and stopping. We should probably start breaking. I think it's probably also the same problem here at White Notley where the train's coming this way. Sorry guys. In it. Oh, for the S car mark. And probably also if the train's going this way. However, interestingly, there's not a stop and whistle board here. Come on, stop. Stop. Probably put way too much brake on. But we made it on time, actually. Just on time. And the front door's open. All the doors open. That is. That's skill. Your skill on my bar. <laughs> if I say so myself. So yeah, again, 
I mean, just look at this platform. It's massive. It's we're running a twelve car. Eight. Oh no, an eight car unit. We have to change cabs at Whit we return to. We're running an eight car unit. I thought we were in twelve car, and we're still like tons of room left on the platform. I believe eight car units are the longest they currently run down branch line. I don't think they run twelve car units. I don't think they do. They probably do now that I've said that. I've only ever seen eight car units running down this line. Now we just next stop is Whitton. You guys, if you haven't seen it before, you're finally going to see the infamous, world world famous Whitton curve, <coughs> just before the station along the branch line where trains are restricted to ten, and the curve is. It's consistent. Say the least. You'll notice it. <laughs> A lot of flange sounds go around it. Screenshot. Need something to do on now. Ah, cat down. Scenery gets in the way again. Although the branch line looks very nice, there's not much potential for screenshot. Go faster, no, it's like the transfer screen. Get it about here. The outside camera, please. Why is screen? Let me change camera. Okay, well, looks like we're not. Outside, for some reason, pause break doesn't want to work. Just. I'll have to check that out later why it's not working. Normally, when you pause break, you just control of the uh, camera. If I do it out here, is it working? Fear that it's not working. Train simulator has been very weird today, I found. It's just an old game. Maybe the engine can't handle it. Really at Whitton? There, there are not. Uh, I don't think there are buffers. Nothing. Crack. See, we'll see in a sec. And get rid of it. I'm not good enough to get rid of the hug completely, not even along this branch line that I've driven up and down many times, but I can get rid of it. Don't need that. Oh, we're still running late. Weird. We've been keeping keeping time as best we can. Maybe it wants us to just power five it straight out of the station. Wouldn't be comfortable for passengers, I don't think. God damn it, I need to make my time. Stops to make. I believe this um the shuttle service is an actual service that is run. Uh, a weekend service normally, where you'd have to go from Braintree to Whitton and then change at Whitton if you wanted to go on to Liverpool. I need to slow down, that is a 10. I'm not going to make that 10 at all. Oh dear. Come on, slow me down. Oh dear. Feeding. Our first signal of the day. Oh well. And more speeding, so we try and get back up to speed. Oh dear. I'm sure as I was speaking about 
to comfort, they were very happy that I threw 93% break on. <coughs> so this is the infamous... You can't really hear it in Train Simulator, but the, the flange sounds in real life are... They're very noticeable, to say the least. Into platform four station. They're very quiet here. I don't think much AI has been put on. Scenario. When I had a little internal look, there was when I was there switching delivery around speeding. There was a class 90 and a class 360 somewhere. Uh, I'll see them. They are supposed to be here. Good job this isn't a career scenario because we've been quite badly. Uh, yes, so red. Oh, there are buffers. For some reason our track is into siding, probably because we are uh, not going onto the main line. On crouch line. Stop her here, this is probably the place to stop. We need to get this cab shut down. Wait, light is off. Can't be shut down. Um, plus minus. Next cab. And now let's get this cab set up to go. Good. But. AWS self test. A lights. And wipers. And I believe. He is good. Oh. Double check. We are not detaching. Rear forward. Going backwards. So I've never personally been on one of these Braintree to Whitton only shuttle service. I normally get the train straight through to Liverpool Street. And um I thought they disconnected the rear four. But maybe maybe not. And there is, as I was speaking, class ninety up ahead, I think it's stopped. Let's go have a look at it. Oh wait, no, eight. That's what we want. Okay, this way. Yes, he is currently stopped at this. But there is not a driver in that train. Is there a driver on the other end? There is. Good, good. He is not going anywhere though. He overshot a red or something. Weird that he's just not moving. I can hear the, the hum of the pantograph actually though. He hasn't even got his lights on. Maybe he's had an emergency stop. Let's go back to our train. I do currently have a um I'm working on in uh, getting around to installing it at some point. But a Abelio Greater Anglia reskin. I believe by I wanna say blue code but it might be super albs. One of the two. It might even be UK Train Sim actually. Where the uh, the Bello Greater Anglia updated skin. This is an older skin. Class 90 is moving. I'm going to throw that on eventually and then take the Class 90 probably from Ipswich to Liverpool Street. I'm working on learning how to drive it. Come again? Is he going to stop here at Witton? I don't know. So, carrying a lot of speed. The Class 90 does sound lovely. I believe it's got AP's sound pack on it, or enhancement pack, one of the two. It just sounds lovely. I'll definitely be reskinning that in a Bellio and then taking it up to London Liverpool Street. And here's another Class 3 coming along. Where are you going, my friend? Where are 
are you then? Colchester Town. See, this, uh, this bus 360 is also in the delivery. The front doors didn't open, mate. You've overshot a bit. Not good. Not good. Fun. Let us go. If this train leaves before the just it's kind. I think this might be him not ask. I think this might be first video of twenty eight. Leave it as I did try and record last week. The audio was uh, just a complete mess. For some reason, the audio tracks went all weird. Unsalvageable. And he has gone before us. But this is actually the first one. I was really annoyed because a run between Liverpool Street and Braintree. Last 360, so it's a long run. And just completely lost. Hey ho though, we're doing this one instead. It was a complete travesty over the last video. Um, lots of speeding, I think I lost 200 points total for speeding. Let's go. So remember, 10 miles an hour around this curve. Not 20 as I came in before last. My next stop is White Knot. Yeah. Here, entertain us. Get rid of all of them. Don't need it. There we go. There we go, indeed. When you are in this, going around this car, you this. And. Right. Yes, so when you're doing that in real life, if you look out the window when you go around this curve, you can see the other end of the train from where you'll see the curve is so drastic. Go straight from a 10 into a No one else along the last line is literally us. Us and the sound of the wind. You do notice how quiet the game is with the AP ability pack to get ambient sounds. I'd rather have the game running without ambient sounds than not being able to play this scenario with ambient sounds. Notice how quiet it is. Especially when you're idling it. <laughs> Try and maintain 10 miles an hour. Soon we'll be in the 50. Uh, 50. Back her up and get her straight to 50. And then stop her, why not Lee? So another thing, interesting thing about this unit from both sides, so I can release the doors left, and I can yeah, give me it, release the doors right. No, it's not much, it's a little thing. Condition. It always surprises me because the gun is so old, I believe. The old add on the train simulator. Still got like DSD, doors on both sides, operator will have DRA. Still quite a lot in it. For, a, uh, for an old thing, so we've got only uh, only operate the horn in one in one manner. So there is a there is a 360 sound pack by AP, and I believe they do have a user operable two tone horn. I haven't got around to getting that. Should eventually. <coughs> I 
I'm questioning it now because um, I bought the Class 90 enhancement pack, not the 360 one. I spend more time driving the 360 than the 90. Hmm. But I do like the 90, it's a very nice chain. Difficult one to drive. Class 360 is perfect when I just want to pump it down the branch line. <laughs> I ain't in here. Quite a while actually. Make it a little bit more. I'll blame this the because obviously when we come back it would have been deep I'm gonna blame that for us going twenty through the ten. And not my incompetence. Not my incompetence. It is interesting though to see a branch line completely electrified. Completely electrified this branch line even though it gets one service every hour. And hardly any service at weekends. The electrification is reserved for the main lines and even then a lot of them don't have it. To white not me now. Oh, you'll start to see the uh, what I was telling you about with the whip. Oh, crescent. Board. Probably gonna get dinged for inappropriate use of horn at some point. But hey ho, there's never an inappropriate use of horn. Them track joint sounds. <laughs> love them. Some people don't like them. I love them. You need to take her all the way to the up, up, the up, 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 Here, made the marker. Gotta keep remembering to put the put the reverser in neutral. Just deal ding us. Pain to get it restarted. I believe with the 360 you have to throw the brake back into emergency. Then release the brake pressure. Complicated process. Use the buttons. I use the buttons when we get the brain tree. In case it messes up or something. Heaters on. Oh, I can feel that warmth. Feel that warmth coming out of the windscreen heater. Fix. First go. Go, oh, White Notley. Three more stations. Yeah, I do like this scenario. It's a nice little, nice little workshop scenario. Up and down scenario. It's not like a one of the complicated. Watch the signals, driving along a main line scenario. But it's a nice little one along a branch line. I will link it. Like I said, I will link it down below. I recommend getting it. Just want to. 35 40 minute scenario that is uh doesn't love a bit of scenario yeah. move her up but I, I'm pretty sure why not he does have one of those uh, whistle before you move forward so we're gonna whistle that even if it doesn't you know excuse to use the whistle
going for crashing. Oh, currently running a little bit late too. Oh well. It doesn't matter that we're running a little. I'm gonna make up that time. Maybe. Possibly. Oh no 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 no. Oh damn it. God. Of course we started to. Of course we did. See how close the stations are. We've just got to 50 and we're basically at pressing. Why it's so easy to get dinged for time along this route. And you notice that when you play the career scenarios, you get dinged for time all the time. Maybe it's just me. Probably just me. We do need to stop that whistle. Let's break some a little bit more. I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. Break some. The S car marker is in front of the whistle board. I'm not supposed to go past the whistle about as he goes past the whistle board. About, uh, I think we'll do that until after we stop. We actually go past this. <coughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, the Great Eastern Main Line is not DOO, it does have guards. Uh, we've seen recent reports. Good for a situation like this, where they have a crossing straight after a platform because there have been incidents of GRO drivers paying attention and nearly coming crashing into cars. They're crossing the crossing. You know, no comment, no comment on the issue. Brain tree free for running slightly late. You always seem to be running slightly late. The time fixes it. Oh. We'll be good. We'll make it indeed. Do you see what I was telling you now about the uh, whistle boards being prevalent along this line? They're everywhere. Speeding. Paying attention. Wasn't paying attention to it. There's no whistle board here. But I want to whistle. We're coming. We're coming for you. Done. Oops. We are finished. That's your little service. Along the, along the words. Along the branch line. Brakes on. Let's stop. Oh. Range of report is quite accurate. To, uh, the real life range of report. Yeah. Done a good job there. Up the train. Up the train. There we go. We should stop putting the brakes so high. Again, we have made it way on, did this? No, the doors on the second rear carriage didn't open either. Oh well. A quick look at Brenchy Free Port while we're here. This is uh, in real life. This is not a house of this state. This is a shopping centre. Uh, design a village. Is an industrial estate. The car park, yes. Coach park. This is 
for the car park. And this is the right. Is that sort of layout? Okay. Not trees going down the middle, but basically that sort of layout. And the roads are right. You know, overall. Job. Thirty-five, and then fifteen before I'm into Braintree. Done. Nearly done indeed. <coughs> oh no, it's me. I was going for fifty. I'm not in the fifty. So, uh, you know, let me let me know what you thought about this scenario. If you liked it or not, or if you like a quick drive up the branch line to create these contained lines. Start breaking. Take that bit. Personally, I like it. It's a nice little uh, scenery tour, I suppose. Oh, I'm getting down to I don't want to have to put the brakes on anymore. It. No doubt, no doubt in my mind we'd make the 15. I knew we would. Again, <laughs> entry's very quiet. Quiet indeed. I mean, even for Braintree as a branch, as a branch line station, it's weird. A few passengers here. I suppose it's probably a limitation of the engine. Can't just every platform with a lot of people. Stops or buffers. Or the buffers. Good enough for me. Breaks. down. Ah, I said I was going to use the button, didn't I? Next time. Next time we'll use the button. Ah. Lights on off. On. There were lights on both. It's okay. Made it in one piece. Only a bit of speeding. That was that was Braintree branch line. Doors have shut. Successfully completed the scenario. Let's see the damage. Made all of our stations on time. At seven times. Oh well. Seven times speed and it wasn't a crit snap. And about thirty six of driving. So thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, liked it, how about leaving a like and a comment? Tell me what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, you know, leave a comment. Tell me why you didn't like it. If you really liked it. You know, click subscribe. There's more coming. Social media links down below. The uh, my Twitter is probably the best way to find out when I'm next streaming or recording a video. And you know, I try and in contact with everyone. Thank you for watching. Like I said, links will be down below. But and the scenario and goodbye see you